This is lesson five of my series, How to Fly FPV Multirotors Using FPV Freerider as the simulator that we're learning in. Uh, as a reminder, as always, I'm using the default settings here, and I've got throttle zero at bottom configured, which is how most transmitters have it set. I'm going to click on the desert, and let's get started on this lesson. Up till now, we've covered the sort of basics of maneuvering your multirotor in FPV. Uh, we've got altitude control, yaw control to face the direction you want to go, uh, roll to keep the horizon leveled, uh, and pitch to go faster and go slower. And all you got to do now is start working on putting all that stuff together. Um, so I'm going to give you an exercise today that will hopefully get you practicing that. And what we're going to do is we're just going to fly laps around the desert. So I'm going to take off and I'm going to pitch forward and fly over. And I'm going to start to yaw and roll together. So as you practice, I want you to start getting a feel for how much yaw and roll you need to uh, create coordinated turns so that you're not yawing and then rolling, but so that you're kind of doing them at the same time. Using pitch forward and back to adjust speed, let's just keep a reasonable speed and let's just fly along this ridge line. At any point, if you're going too fast, pitch back a little to slow down. And if you're going too slow, pitch forward a little to go faster. If you're losing altitude, raise the throttle. If you're higher than you want to be, lower the throttle. And all of that feedback together is what's happening in a pilot's mind even a, a very high-end pilot doing extremely advanced acro maneuvers is sort of doing this same thing, just on a, on a much higher level and a lot more intuitively and faster. If you're going too fast, pitch back. If you're going too slow, pitch forward. As I lose altitude, I may pick up speed and need to pitch back a bit. And I'm going a little slower than I'd like. I'm going to pitch forward, and I'm going to need to raise the throttle to avoid losing altitude. Now I'm going a little too fast, so I'm going to lower the throttle and pitch back. And, and slow down again. Pitch forward to speed up. Here comes a climb I'm going to need to make. And a little bounce there. Let's do that again. If you need to climb and you're moving forward, you may need to pitch back a little bit or you'll just accelerate yourself into the thing you're trying to climb over. So let me get lined up on this pass again. Here we are. We're gonna need to climb over this hill. If I just accelerate, I will gain altitude, but depending on how fast I'm going, I may not gain altitude fast enough to clear it. Let's go back around again. Here we are. So, but see, I gained altitude and cleared it, but I also picked up a lot of speed, which is probably not what I wanted. So a lot of times when you need to climb like that, let's get lined up again. A lot of times if you're heading forward and you see an obstacle you need to climb over, you may want to pitch back a little, and that alone will cause you to gain altitude even if you don't change your throttle setting at all. Because anytime you go from pitched forward to more level, you'll gain altitude. And vice versa. Here we go, coming up on it again. And I'm going to pitch back a little and raise the throttle a little to climb over it. And I can pitch forward at the other side to pick back up my altitude. So 
I want you to practice flying this circuit around the desert and try to maintain altitude, try to descend into the low parts and climb up over the high parts. Try and stay on the ridge line without drifting too much. See if I can give you a nice pass here as a good example. I have a little trouble flying this copter because it doesn't quite feel like the one I'm used to. Climbing up. You go as slow or as fast as you want, but don't go so fast that you crash a lot. Go as slow as you need to to do it right, and then pick up speed later. Fly right and then fly fast, not the other way around. You can't do it the other way around. All right? That's what I'd like you to practice this week, or this episode, or this session, whatever. Uh, all right? Okay, hope that's helpful. And, uh, yeah, you're getting there. It's time to say, happy flying. You're flying. All right. See you next time.